Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I wanted to do a um, not quick but thorough uh, tutorial on how to transition from traditional art to digital art. What is the best program to start with, and what little things do you need to know in order to get started without getting frustrated? Uh, it can be a very daunting experience going from traditional art, where you're used to having all of your tools and knowing how each of them work, into a completely flat experience where you're supposed to find buttons instead of picking up a brush. So I know I know that that's uh, a difficult process. So let's go through, we're going to go slowly, and uh, I'm going to try and answer all the questions that you might have. If that's you and you're new to digital art, then this is a great channel to be subscribed to. Uh, if you're already a digital artist, if you're a creative, if you do note taking on a tablet, if you have a Windows 10 tablet with a touch screen, this is a great channel for you too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, Please subscribe right now. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, this is ArtRage 6. ArtRage 6 is the program I recommend the most for new artists. Uh, if you're doing uh, traditional art, you're going to be able to look right down here and see a bunch of tools that you're familiar with. Here's a watercolor brush. Here's a paint brush. If you want to change the colors, you go over here and you can go and pick something that you understand, and you're gonna see those colors blending. You can see texture in those brushes, so it's not just a flat experience, and it's gonna feel a lot more familiar than a lot of programs that you're used to. If you're using the stock Surface Pen, which is the one that you would get at the Microsoft Store, you can go ahead and just turn this around, and you can erase. And this is gonna feel very familiar for those of you, but you can also erase the oils and the watercolor, which is not something that we can do in the traditional medium. So there's another question that you might have, and it's how do I pick the size of my canvas? I wanna make something big and I wanna print it, and I'm not sure how to get there. This is all very new to me. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up into our settings. We're gonna create a brand new file, uh, or we can actually just change the one that we're using right here. So we're going to go to File, New Painting, and we're going to choose Window Size. You can see this is 1,221 pixels by 852. Now, I actually want something quite a bit larger. Let's go to Print Sizes. A3 Landscape, 300 DPI. All right, so this is a 16.5 inch by 11.69 inch um, canvas. Uh, screen size is going to be uh, right about 5,000 by 3,500 pixels. We're going to choose OK. OK, now when we draw here, you see everything starts out smaller, and that's because we're really we're using a much larger canvas. Uh, let's go ahead and choose a paintbrush. You can see here doing the same thing. Let's make that bigger. And you can see how much more clarity there is here in the colors. That's so nice. Oh, I love it. All right, so if you're looking to, how do I make a larger canvas file? new painting. Uh, you can also edit the size of the canvas that you already have open. Let's go to a uh, current one that we have open. We're going to go to view, canvas settings, and we can, oh, not this one. Um, resize painting. And here we can choose what we had here before. So we're going to go to presets, print sizes, A3. Here we're going to click OK. And you can see this has increased the resolution here. So you can see a difference between these. This is much more detailed, and this is definitely you can see 
the pixelated edges because this is a lower resolution. And here, it's much better. All right, so how do we get ArtRage 6? You can see this beautiful natural blending of colors, which is probably my favorite and most enjoyable thing about ArtRage. You can get a lot of that same enjoyment uh, without the uh, massive amount of tools and the cleanup that you would have to do with traditional media. All right, so how do we get ArtRage 6? Okay, so let's go here. We're gonna go to Google, ArtRage 6. Yes, Partridge 6, it's exactly what I was looking for. Let's try that again. Art Rage. S According to Wikipedia, okay, good enough. <laughs> All right, so if we wanna try this, let's try it first. Let's make sure that we like it. So we're gonna go to the demo. Uh, we can go Art Rage Lite if you wanna get something that's a little less expensive, $79 right now, if you're looking at getting it. Um, let's go to Free Trials and Demos. All right, so we have a free trial, download for Windows, download for Mac. We're gonna click on download for Windows. It's gonna go right here. Uh, when this installs, I'm gonna walk you through that install process. Now this is a different program than the full program. So if you decide that you like it, we're gonna go through how to install the regular program too. All right, so your program is going to check, is this a safe file? So we're gonna go ahead and click on it because it stopped flashing. and it asks us where we want to install it. We're going to agree to the license and we're going to click next. Start menu programs folder, that's okay. We're going to click next and we're going to install. Now I have this installed already, the full version, so I'm not going to finish that installation. All right, in order to, to open it, uh, you're going to see down here the Windows icon. We're going to click on that and then over here in Recently Added, you should see ArtRage. If you don't see ArtRage here, then it'll be further down. Uh, so we'll click on this icon here, and that will load it up. Okay, once it's loaded, it'll give you a little pop-up window that's going to ask about the demo. You can click Yes for the demo, and then you should be in here, and you should be able to test out these tools. All right, so now that we've started, uh, inside of ArtRage, and we're looking at how to do some of the basic stuff. Let's not overwhelm ourselves. Uh, so what I want to do is just some of the very basic things, and then let's let that settle for a little while, and uh, we'll come back to a second video describing how to do some more of the advanced features. But let's take it slow. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the undo button. This is one of the uh, main things that we can do that we couldn't do before, so if we accidentally mix some paint, there's this little back arrow right here. Tapping on this is going to let us undo or erase what we just did. So we blend some colors and we don't like the way it looks. We can tap right here, tap, 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 and that will erase all that. Now, if you want to, you're creating page, we're going to again make this bigger by dragging over here. Now we have a bigger brush. Pushing light will make a smaller line and pushing hard will create a thicker line just like our traditional media tools. All right, so we're going to do a little bit here. We're doing this and we decide uh, we don't like it. We want to start over. Now you can go over here and choose close painting. Uh, or we can quit application, we can start a new one, but probably the simplest way to do this is to go over here to the Layers panel. We're going to click on this. That means tap on it with the pencil. We can also do that with our finger. And then over here, what we need to do is we need to create a new file, a new layer, not new file, by tapping on this Add icon, Add New Layer. Now this is selected. Now we can't delete this and have it affect what we're seeing right here. We need to select this, uh, what I'm going to refer to as a dirty layer. Select the dirty layer, and we're gonna click Delete. Good, now we have just a blank canvas. And we can go ahead and paint, 
and do all sorts of new things to this one. All right, this last part is for those of you who like to tinker. Uh, so, and, and I would suggest, really suggest not tinkering in the beginning. And I know that sounds probably different than a lot of people like to be told is how you, we figure things out. But um, in the beginning, it can, it can become a process where we spend so much time tinkering and getting frustrated with certain aspects of trying to get things to work exactly right that we, we actually lose some of the joy that comes from just creating in the beginning. Uh, so I'm going to recommend that, that when you guys are doing this, that you do spend the time to tinker later. Do some basic painting. Do some basic work, even if it's just what I'm doing right here. Just blending colors so that you can feel some of the enjoyment of the program, of the process. That gives you, I always think, a little bit of hope goes a long way. And if you have something that you uh, can see yourself doing, that you can see yourself enjoying in the future, you're going to be willing to tinker a little longer and adjust things because you've had a taste of something good. All right, so for right now, let's leave it at that. Uh, if you guys like this information, if you're finding this useful, uh, if you have questions, uh, I'm a brand new digital artist and I have questions, how do I do this? What program is great for this type of media? How should I go about transitioning? I understand ArtRage is great. What's another program that I can use? Put those questions in the comment section um, below at the bottom of this video. Type it in, hit enter, and I'll do my best to respond to those and make some follow-up videos that will be useful for you. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, if you're new to digital painting, digital art, keep at it. It's a little bit of a learning curve, um, but you'll get there and you'll be happy that you did. In the next video, we're going to be talking about how to create texture in Art Rage 6. So you can see here some beautiful paint buildup. And uh, this is something that's really difficult to do in digital art and that we don't want to miss out on. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.